I went to this is why people aren't healthy. Um, JK, um, I don't know what you mean. I'm kind of, I don't check my emails. It's somebody else. They probably checking it. You gotta give them a second. Um, y'all, this is why people aren't healthy because I spent two hundred and twenty four dollars on one, two, three, like eight items. It was chlorophyll because I used to always drink chlorophyll, so I'm putting it back in my water again to drink my chlorophyll for like your body, for your inner dehyd your inner deodorant or whatever. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Mm. So um I'm doing that again. I bought me two bottles of sea moss capsules so I could take those. Um, then this other stuff is called silver something. Um, I don't know. It's supposed to be good for you, but <sighs> yeah, not really. Okay. Let's look at this and see what people sent me. This is the part. Yeah. Corfield. All right. So this is from, and I see somebody in here. He wants my attention, but every time I DM him, he n Silver Shield, yes! Silver Shield, I heard it's good for you and like good for like different viruses and stuff like that. So yes, it's called Silver Shield. The lady said that you're, she said you're not supposed to take it with like a, um, yeah, that's it, y'all. You're not supposed to take it with like a silver spoon because it deactivates the silver that's in there. You're supposed to do it with like a wooden spoon or a um or a uh a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, um plastic spoon and to the person who said the capsules aren't natural yes they are depends on where you go to um i i go to a place called seven under which is an all natural store and some people can't do the loose powder and the reason um i didn't the loose powder is because you have to put that inside of like smoothies and stuff and I don't really like to make my own smoothies because my fruit and stuff will go bad so basically um because she said if you put the powder inside a tea because I drink a lot of teas if you put the powder in the tea then therefore it will gelatize or whatever that's the word and it won't really I'm a texture person not throw that bitch up so um it's just the powder inside of a capsule. That's all it is. I didn't go to like a grocery store. I went to a all natural store. Um, seven under here in Atlanta. Y'all should go to it. It's amazing. Boom. Okay. Anyway, so let's open this stuff so y'all can see what is going on. Black sea oil is very, I do too, but oof, child, I can only do that sometime. Black sea oil. Child. Yeah, my skin, I've been doing really good with water. And I've been doing my facials like I'm supposed to be doing. Sometimes I would like skip nights, but I've been doing morning and nights and that's how i'm supposed to do it and i've been using my black mask daily no well twice a week so i really see the big difference in my skin period I already had good skin anyway okay so this is from and i have a thing for skin i love people with pretty skin even if you don't have pretty skin for some reason i'm attracted to guys who do have pimples not like a lot but if you got like kind of a little bit of acne i'm okay with that as long as your teeth look good like as long as your teeth are on point bitch i can fuck with you Okay, this is from Support Black Colleges. So let's see what Support Black Colleges is talking about. Um, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm just so weird. I'm so different. Like some people sit, how often do you do your facials? I do my facial in the morning at like just regular, hold on. Girl, we gotta get through this girl, hold on. We'll have that on a different subject. Okay. Cause I get distracted. Oh, and I bought me a new necklace. It's the black, the black something. It gets negative energy. And then this one gives you your positive energy for manifestation and clarification. And this one takes away negative energy. So you're supposed to just tell this, oh, take the energy, take the energy, take the energy. Give me the energy, give me the energy, give me the energy. Okay. So anyway, this is from Black Colleges. Let's see what's going on. Oh my God, where did they put this in? Support Black Colleges. Woo! African American, what's up, niggas? Okay. I told y'all niggas. I told y'all niggas. Okay. So this is from the black colleges. Um, let's see what they gave me. Well, first of all, bitch, <laughs> I don't cook. Black folks love to do barbecues. So they get the black colleges gave me this. Okay. But ain't no meat in here. 
They gave me this. It's your gourmet garlic. I guess folks love garlic. But, um, yeah, garlic really isn't good for you. You're supposed to do onions. That's what Dr. Sebi said. Onions is better. Garlic is not. So, Dr. Sebi said, I don't really do a lot of garlic. Like, they, they gave me some garlic. Then they made, like, fake charcoal. And then they put this on here. It's called wrap snack. <gasps> That's my girl from Slutty Vegan. Oh my God. So my girl from Slutty Vegan got her some wrap snacks. Girl, I just brushed my teeth. I did this new toothpaste and you're not supposed to have any salty stuff right now. So I can't eat this right now. I got this new toothpaste. It's really good for you. And then um, you need to brush your teeth. No, it's the light, sweetie. If you saw me in public, baby, my teeth are very beautiful and very straight. And they are white. Do not let this light fool you. I got it on the low lightness. Please don't let it fool you, sweetheart. Please don't let it fool you. That's one thing I don't fuck about is my teeth. My teeth are not ugly in person. This light is atrocious. Okay, it's on the warm setting, honey. Um, it's always an ugly bitch who got something to say. Let's let's beam her up because she really had a lot to say. Let's beam her up because this bitch just knew she knew what she was talking about. Beam up this bitch right quick. I'm beaming you up, honey. Everybody put BMU. Beam me up. Beam her up, honey. Say BMU. Beam me up. Can you smile, sweetie? Get in the camera. What's up? Get in the camera. What's that? Get in the camera. What's that? Get in the camera. What's that? Smile. You ugly oh, man. You, you ugly. don't want to smile. You look like a mule. But you don't. You can't even see. Like you, so that's all that matter, baby. Show your face. Them fat ass bully hole. Show your face. Exactly. It's always the ugly girls who want to come in here and run their mouth, but then they be a fan of you. That don't make no sense to me, girl. How you over there looking and sounding and acting the way you acting, baby? You over there disappointed about the way you look. Don't blame me. Blame your mama for laying down with your daddy for having a baby and a specimen like you. No, ma'am. Why would they do that? Your mama already knew she was ugly. Your daddy already knew he was fucked up. So why would they, why would they, why would they sit there and lay with each other and have a fucked up baby? That just don't make no sense to me. That's like a gorilla fucking a goat. Ah! That's a fool. You don't see an alligator having sex with a kangaroo, but that's what your mom and daddy did. Oh! Mama! Why would they do that? <laughs> you don't see a cat fucking a steak, but that's what your mom and daddy did. Oh! Put it on the steak. My God. You know, but that's none of my business. Hey, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. They had a whole creation. Don't even, you can't even call it a baby. It's a creation. Anyway, <laughs> they trying to play God. Oh! My God. Anyway, why are these people playing Jesus like that? Ah! Thou shalt not have another God before me. Okay, let's see. What my mind? Let me get this. Hold on, y'all. Let's see. What my mind? You girl be trying my time. Okay, so this came from, you see how this necklace works? How rebuke it and gave it to the black tumor roll, whatever it's called. Okay, this came from my shade. Turner. This came from my Shay Turner. Hold on, girl. And now all her friends done saw her get embarrassed. Now she feeling stupid. She don't deactivated her account for two weeks. <laughs> all your friends is laughing at you. Done came up and saw you get embarrassed. Now you sad. Now you finna go report my page. No, report your mom and daddy for having you. Okay, let's see. This is from my Shay Turner. This is some nice pants. They real silky. Ooh. You know, this kind of material, when it rubs against, never mind. <laughs> when it rubs against, it be feeling real nice. This material is actually really good. That's why you see a lot of men wearing this Adidas pants. Because when they wear those Adidas pants, the way it rubs against your skin, it's like a turn on or something. So this is really not Brandon. I don't know who it is. Brandon something. Why well, I got a cold in the middle of this? Oh. Oh, that's really nice, Brandon. Brandon, that is really nice. Oh, Brandon, now this look good. And the material is really nice. This is really good. You spent some coin on this. Oh, I'm wearing that. I ain't even gonna lie to you. What he said? He said, uh, oh, he put on a receipt. 
Sorry, I sent the wrong size last time. Thank you, friend. This one should work perfectly. My name is pronounced Mache. Thank you, keep being lovely. Thank you, friend. This is really pretty, and I'm most definitely going to wear it. This one look way better, girl. I remember the last one. I think I gave it to my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Sheesh, that's crazy. Yeah, it looks really good. Very pretty. Ooh. I'll open it in a minute. It smells good, though. Okay, this came from... Who is this? Oh, Jesus. This came from the Midwest Home and Gift People. I don't know who that is, though. All right, let's see. What is this? Believe. Oh, look at God. Believe. That's really sweet. What are we believing in? <laughs> we believing in niggas. Believing in a good life. Believing we're going to have money. Believing that bitch that came in here ain't going to return. What we believe in? Believe. That's all we're going to do is believe, okay? He smelled the box. I smell everything, child. That's probably why I got a little cold right now. This is from Yaya's Catering. So this is from Yaya. Why are you not on Wildin' Out, friend? I'm sad. Oh, my God. I think because I had sex with the producer, they found out. Okay, this is from Yaya's Catering. Oh, Yaya, thank you so much. I don't cook. Oh, boy, time to get in the kitchen. Okay, hold on. Let me change this color because the folks don't think my teeth yellow for real. Okay, and see, and then, because they're really not this color. How do I turn this bitch on? Because <sighs> that is a horrible color, girl. Well, I don't give no fuck. These folks use these fake teeth anyway. Okay, I don't even cook. Y'all got, what is this? Oh, that smells good, y'all, y'all. All purpose seasoning. Um, uh, right, child. Okay. My name is Tessie, and I'm in a small, I'm a small business owner from Buffalo, New York. About six months ago, I created an all-purpose seasoning blend. I would love for you to try it. It literally goes great on everything. You got to be specific, because some folks like that glue, Gorilla Glue, she'll put this on her cereal, and then she'll try to sue you because you told her it go great on everything. Like, I'll probably put it on a peanut butter jelly sandwich, a banana, an apple, you know what I'm saying, some banana pudding. So you can't say goes literally great on everything because then people going to take that for real, friend, and then they're going to do something just to sue you, friend. So make sure you change that everything. Okay. I'm going to try it, girl, even though I don't cook, but when I, you know, make a little noodle or something, I'm going to put the Yaya's catering on there from Buffalo, New York. Ain't that right, Yaya? All right. Put it on your toothpaste. Right. Okay. Let's see what this is. Hold on, y'all. Make sure you share the broadcast. Share the broadcast and tap the screen so we can send everybody in here, okay? <laughs> you ain't got to tap the screen to play, but share the broadcast. Okay, hold on. At least your teeth look like, don't look like CJ's. No, my teeth really are not yellow. Please meet me in person, friend. I have a beautiful smile. Don't let that person fool you. Um, and I actually thought I looked better in person, too. That's why I don't take pictures. Another reason I don't take pictures either is because I don't see the person that I want to be. It's supposed to be a girl on the other side of the camera, but it's a nigga, so I really, that's why I like to take pictures. Um, NJ Simpson, uplifting clothing apparel. Up lift clothing apparel up lift clothing apparel so child they really um they really so never said him and nick is together i didn't say me and nick was together. what the whatever okay <laughs> some people stupid uh, oh this is cute Uplift. This is so cute. I'm going to wear this today. Oh my God. I really love this. I really, 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 really like this. This is so cute. I see you, girl. I see you too, bitch. Okay, this is really cute. What's this one looking like? Okay, paper, paper, paper. What's this one? Uplift. Oh, this is really nice. Let's see what the other one like. Oh, uplift. These are nice. I like it when they're like this. I wish they was like the tighter ones though, but this is really cute. 
That's really nice, friend. And it smells good. I like when stuff smells good. When you send it and it smells good, I like that. What you said? That is nice. What the fuck going on here? I don't know. Why are you here? Okay. This is, ooh. This is from Divine Cosmetic. Let's see what she's talking about. Divine Cosmetic. Let's see what they're talking about. Hold on, my mom. Huh? It must be hot over there looking all kind of sweaty. Now, that's called glowing skin. That's what it's called. It's called when your skin is nice and it shines on its own and you don't have to put stuff on it. That's what it is, sweetie. And then it's called a light that's beaming on your shiny, beautiful skin. That's what that is. Sorry that you look dusty and ashy, girl, like you got eczema. That's not my problem. Your mama pussy shouldn't have been so dry. And when she pushed you out, you wouldn't have been born with eczema. Dry pussy, bitch. That's what's going on with your skin. So you might want to go ask your mama why she did that, knowing her pussy was dry. Anyway, let's see. Okay, it's Friday, and I'm sending you some goodies. My name is Jayla. I saw your live the other week, and I heard you mention you need a good body butter. Well, I have the perfect one for you. I just recently launched my second business, Ooh, Divine Cosmetics. It's a natural and organic co cosmetic company. I create all my products by hand, and I have created the perfect body butter with the most intoxicating scent. Go ahead, friend. Okay, y'all. Hold on, my mama. See, the girls be trying me. I don't know why they try me, girl. I'm not your friend, girl. I am not your friend, honey. They just come in here talking so reckless. I'm not your friend. Just, I'm not your friend, girl. Okay, let's see. Divine, this is mocha. That was kind of mean. I don't give a girl. Block, uh, Caddy. Kathy, girl, you one of them ugly people. Block, report the comment and block her out of here. Spam, bullying, harassment. Um, girl, to me, submit report. Get that ugly half out of here. Bye, block daddy. See you later. Boom. Gone. Okay. Ooh. Oh, my God. That smells so good. Oh, now this is... Now this... What's in it? Shea butter... Coconut oil, mango butter, avocado oil, hemp oil, Georgia oil, and argan oil. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah, people, uh, 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 let me be careful. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's just, it'd be so funny to me. People want to, they can say what they want, but then when you say it, what it smells like, oh my God, it smells so good. But then, ooh, <clears throat> but then when you say what you want, you're the bad person. But then you come in here talking shit. No, girl. Same way. You don't want to talk shit on your live. Don't talk shit on mine. I don't know you. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. That smells so good. Oh, what it smell like? It smells like um, mangoes. It smells like mangoes, but with pineapple, mango. I don't know. But this smells like a fruit cup. Like you got a fruit cup. And this is by Divine Cosmetics. I can't really show up. My manager will get mad at me. I can just tell you the name. Um, but if, since she knows that people want to know Divine Cosmetics, hit me up, girl, so we can um, tell these folks who you are. But this smells like a fruit cup. Oh, my God. Let me see how it feels. Oh, my God. <laughs> I literally finna throw all my other stuff away. This smells so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it smells good. Okay, hold on y'all. Um, In the flesh, hey boo. Y'all, it smells really good like a fruit cup. Like literally like you just bought a fruit cup and um, it just smells good. It smells amazing. Um, the reason they don't want me to show it sometimes is because my manager, I'm in a contract with them. And that is also the lady who checks my emails. I have to pay her. So she gets paid by, she gets a percentage of my promotions and stuff like that. So if I'm not getting anybody asking for promotions, then therefore I'm just paying her, but she's not getting, she's getting her base fee, but not half of the promotion fee. So it's like, I'm just giving away money to people. So like, usually when I shout people out, 
you can ask a lot of people who I've shouted out. Um, people go order from them. Because I'm not, I don't ever shout out anything fake. I don't shout out nothing that I don't believe in. If it ain't good, child, I ain't finna shout it out. That's just me. I don't give a darn about, you know. Like, if somebody say, hey, promote these cigarettes. I'm like, no, for what? I don't care. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Because at first, I used to shout stuff out for free all the time. Like, right now, I'm still saying their name. So if you go and type it in, you just might find them, and then you will see it. So it's just like I'm taking money out of my manager's pocket and then out of mine. And then it's just like you're helping these people. Like, I help people when I, like, I help, but you can't do it all the time so it's like when i help a couple and they was like hey you help me help you you get what i'm saying it's like that i don't know i don't know so it's like i'm basically like so that's like if i just um yes i'm i have a cold y'all after i fell in that water <laughs> When I fell in that water on the 28th, of, on the 31st of May, when I fell in that water, when we went white water rafting, um, I guess when we were walking around and zip lining, I was wet. And so zip lining in all that air and being in the sun, I caught a cold. Yes. And it's going away now. Like all the mucus is coming out. But um, yes, when I fell in that water, child, I had, the next day, I was like, oh, bitch, I think I got a cold. And I had a cold since then, child. So since the 28th, I had a cold. But it's like a whole, whole, whole lot better now. Um, it, it never really was bad. It's just now I can, um, I know the mucus is coming out. Um, did you enjoy your trip? Yes, I did. It was still in Georgia. But yeah. Ooh, wait a minute. Who is this? Predestined. Predestined. Uh, Predestined is a 24th movie produced by Aaron Avante Johnson, a 21-year-old producer of South Florida. Johnson has worked in a collaboration with Wendy Williams and Head Hunter Productions, as well as Emmy-nominated actress Latoya Ward. Um, has produced an urban musical series about a preacher's daughter who's became an R&B sensation during her career. The preacher's daughter discovered the hurtful dark truth surrounding her mother's death. Follow these instructions to open the box. Please use the money. What? Oops. Wait a minute. Let me ask my people. I don't even know what this is, girl. They didn't even hit my people up and say, I don't know. I don't know. We'll talk about that later. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay. He was playing. Playing about what, friend? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all, I'm so discombobulated right now. Okay, this is from Coco Kids. Let's see what Coco Kids is talking about. Open it up. I will. Coco Kids. Oh, this is cute. Got a little bow tie for Coco Kids. Hold on. Who is that? Noah. Hey, Noah. What was that? Is that you? I'm too loud. It's okay. You'll be all right. Your face is too fucked up. <laughs> Watch out, friend. You know my mouth is a razor blade. Okay, you still my husband now, but don't come for me. Hey, Noah, girl. This is for Coco Kids. Beard and skin oil. Oh, I actually have a skin oil that I... Nora. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's Nora. I said Noah. Nora. Hey, beautiful. Okay. Oh, that smells good. Oh, that smells good. Oh, that smells real good. But I already have a face, a face oil I use. I don't like to mix stuff. Maybe when mine run out, I use that one. Okay, we got we got one more thing. Hold on, one more thing. Sorry, this one wasn't like my usual openings. I think when we had those rowdy people in here, it kind of like shifted my energy. But um, it's okay. I'm so sorry, y'all. 
I'm Helenor Atkins. I'm Helenor Atkins and singer. Oh, what's up, beautiful? I'm gonna show you who you're talking to. Okay, chill. Relax. Oh, this is a pretty color. Oh, that's gonna go cute with my skin. I love this one. Oh, they got the, um, because it's gay pride. They got the gay flag on there. But the gay people don't like me, so. Yeah. <laughs> The gay people don't like me. Bad behavior. That was from bad behavior, you guys. They're so sweet. Y'all. Oh, D Little sent me something. I don't know if y'all been here, but um, y'all, this is a really bad um, box opening. Next time, we're just going to ignore those people. Uh, this is from D Little. I don't know if y'all been here. We're right, Shamir. The gay people don't like me right now. Happy Pride Month, beautiful. Thank you. Um, D Little is somebody who always, yeah, they don't like me. D-Little is the person that always sends me something. So D-Little sent me this. He's so sweet. D-Little's like, I think, did he say he was 30, y'all? I don't remember. Um, but why? We're not going to talk about it. Um, huh? How they don't like you. It was a joke. Child, they don't like me, girl. Um, wish you a wonderful day and a whole year of just perfect moments. Good to be alive. Good to be alive days and wonderful to remember times. To Zoe from D Little. D Little, you are a sweetheart. You've been here for years and you always send me amazing cards. I think you're like, what, 30? I can't remember. But I thought you was like 12 because of your handwriting. But I think you said you was like 30 something. Thank you so much, sweetheart. You are so sweet. But yeah, um, you stay going live. Yeah, I love to talk to my people because y'all support me so much. Without me, without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to buy my house. I wouldn't have been able to get my car. I wouldn't have been able to do the things that I do. So why not go live and talk to you guys? So yeah, that's why I go live a lot because I feel like going live and talking to your people, they get to learn you and it's like a more personal vibe because when I first, I was a real Soldier Boy fan, honey. And um, Soldier Boy used to go live all the time. And I was in, I never missed a Soldier Boy live, ever. And um, when he stopped going live, I hated it. And it felt like I lost a connection with Soldier Boy. And like, I used to, oh my God, it's like I knew him. It was like, I know Soldier Boy. And I could sit there and just watch him live. Okay. All right, let me see. Oh, this smells amazing. Who is this from? This is from, oh God. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all, my energy's weird right now. This smells so good. Oh shit. Oh, these are what I put inside my little thing. My little um wax burner. Oh, I love these. Like, I love these more than candles. Like, you put them inside your wax burner, and I love them. Um, he is a... He is... What? <laughs> what you saying? I almost caught a stroke trying to read that. Please rewrite it so I know what's going on. Um, Soldier Boy invented live. Right. <laughs> Do y'all know, for my grown people, Soldier Boy is on OnlyFans, and it... <laughs> The Soldier Boy is on OnlyFans, y'all. And girl, I've had a crush on him for so long. And child, he didn't use to show stuff. <laughs> he didn't use to show stuff on OnlyFans. He usually just, uh, somebody said, oh, we knew, right. He used to just show like himself in like boxers, you gay? Yeah, sometimes. Um, he used to just show like, you know, boxers or whatever, but now girl, he'll send you a little DM girl and it'd be like everything, girl. 
Hell no, girl. He be doing a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, I thought it was gonna look different than what it looked, but girl, she was giving very much, girl, normal, bro. Okay, black on. Hey, so I love you. Uh, I love you. Made these and thought of you. The smell, they smell amazing, and they do. As I sure just like, just, I'm sure just like you do. Made with milk, honey, strawberry, banana, and nectar. Oh, this is from JB. JB. Thank you, JB, sweetheart. They really smell really good. Like, really, really, really good. I'm not going to take me a bath. What y'all say? Hold on. Love you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, friend. It's the quick shutdown for me. What you mean? <clears throat> okay, let me go. I'm going to open up the rest when I'm, like, in a bubbly mood. I think Kathy really, like, Kathy rubbed me the wrong way. Like, Kathy really rubbed me the wrong way. And that little boy who uh, came in here who didn't cam up. Like, I think if he would have cammed up, I would have felt a little bit better because I wanted to see what he was giving. But because I couldn't see what he was giving, girl, I think it kind of, like, bothered me because I really wanted to see his, his face so I could tell him about himself. But I really couldn't see him, so I really got to leave out of bother. Because I love a good reading session, girl. I love a good reading session, girl. My burger is Juneteenth. What's your burger? Somebody got scammed? <laughs> Ain't got nothing to do with me. Your chest hat. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm about to get one on my back, right? It's going to be all back here, and then it's going to come around to this, and it's going to wrap. This one's going to stop here, but then it's going to wrap around to this arm and come down, and then go all the way down here, girl. Oh, bitch, she's going to be sickening, girl. It was probably a kid. Oh, no, I know they were kids. I just, um, I'm already aggravated today because let me show you. Hold on. I'm already aggravated. I'm, I'm not aggravated. I'm just, like, mad because I didn't read. It was my fault. Hold on. <clears throat> so it was my fault, right? So I didn't read when I should have read. So it's really me that I'm mad at. I'm not mad at them. I'm mad at me. So I ordered these things to go on my dress or whatever. I thought the numbers were going to be at least like this big. You know what I'm saying? I thought the numbers were going to be this big or whatever the case may be. Child. The numbers are this big. I thought they were going to be, like, at least up here. They are right here. And I'm so over it. So that's really what I'm mad at. But I'm not going to let it bother my day. But I am mad. But I wanted them to be bigger numbers. And they're going to put them, the guy's going to come mount them on my house. So I'm kind of pissed about that because my stupid butt did not read the size that I should have ordered it. So it's like, girl, they still can't see it when they pull up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm angry. I'm so angry. And y'all know how much those, these four little numbers, these four little numbers, four hundred and twenty-eight dollars. I waited two months for that. Four hundred and twenty-eight dollars, and I waited two months. For that? Girl, you know what? That's why they always say read, 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 read. Make sure y'all read. Read. Read the instructions. Read your contract. Read, read, read. Ooh, that do make my teeth look ugly. Read. What you say, friend? Are you going to send it back? What the price be that? Child, no, I'm not sending it back. I'm not going to wait another two months. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's just not the size I was expecting. 
expecting. Like I was expecting these big, like my neighbor down the street has these big, beautiful numbers that are look like they're calligraphy on the house. And I'm like, oh, that's what I'm finna get. Then I get, child, this girl, this go on a tiny house. <laughs> this go on a tiny house. On, on a school trailer. This go on a school trailer that's outside when you go into science class or math class, a school trailer in the back of the school. Jesus Christ. Somebody said, how big is your penis? I don't have one. Who is that? Hold on. That was in my house. Okay, y'all. Well, let me get ready to go. I love y'all so much. Look at my new shoes I got. Well, not my shoes, my house shoes. Aren't these so adorable? These are so cute. Look at these. When <laughs> you're trying to show your whole outfit. Oh my God, look at my stuff. They are so cute. And they are so comfy. They are so cute. Where's my cat? Child, somewhere around here, honey. Cody be minding his business. That's why I love him. Cody minds his business. Oh, you guys. So, people always ask, before I go, you don't like him? Great. People always ask, where's Kip? Kip is not here. Kip is gone. I gave him away to my family. Because, one, he was just... I took him to get training. Uh, I took him to get training three times. And he's a really, 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 um, the material is weird. No, child, that, bitch, are you dumb? It's just like the clothes. I don't think y'all can see. Anyway, girl. Um, back to what I was talking about. Um, he was just really, really, really hyper. I don't know if you've ever owned a Doberman before. But for people who've never owned a Doberman and you're thinking about getting one, I used to have a miniature Doberman. And I should have known because, you know, his name was Prince and he was a handful, but just a miniature one. And then he got old and God bless his soul. Um, but yeah, Dobermans are very, very high active dogs. They're like extremely active dogs. And if you don't have the time to play, if you're not like a playful person, an energetic person, you do not need a Doberman. Like they don't know how, like, you know how like you can play with a dog in the house? When you play with a Doberman, they're one, they're, male Dobermans are very clumsy dogs. They're very, 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 very clumsy. And so when they play, they have no type of sense of what's around them. Like when you got a pit bull, they got the sense, oh, this is a glass table. This is this, but a Doberman don't give a damn. And then on top of that, um, male Dobermans do not mentally mature. You think a Doberman is a lot? Try Husky child, get a Doberman. I've seen Huskies. Huskies just have temper, like they have fits, like baby fits. That's what a Husky does. They have like little baby fits, like they go crazy. But um, anyway. Uh, 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 they do not mature. Male Dobermans do not mature until four years old. That's when they mature. Female Dobermans mature at two. And, um, I just, he was going on two, and I can't do two more years. Like, I was patient enough. Somebody just said the dog I'm getting. <laughs> Somebody just said the dog I'm getting. Okay, so, um, he just was just not my, he didn't fit my personality. Like, I loved him. I spoiled him. That was my baby, but he's with my family. Honey, go do your thing. Have fun. You got a bigger yard. Woohoo! Go run and dig your holes and be crazy. But my new baby is on the way, y'all. He's coming from Vegas. 
And this time I did, because I usually always do this, but when I, since I had a Doberman before, I was like, okay, well, maybe he's a big one. He's going to be better and he's going to be different. And child, he wasn't. So I did my reading and this dog's temperament is very calm, very protective. They don't need a lot of exercise. They just, they do like to be around you, but they do need some, they do need some type of, you know, involvement with you, but not like that. Um, I'm getting a Cane Corso. <laughs> I'm getting a Cane Corso. Um, baby, he's beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Beautiful. He's so beautiful. It's a Cane Corso. They're very calm. They're very chill dogs. They don't need a lot of exercise. They're just chill. And every Cane Corso that I've seen, their temperament is so relaxing. Like when they're with a puppy, they're kind of wild. But when they grow up and they mature, oh, I just spit. When they mature, they mature at one years old mentally and physically. They mature at one. Um, yeah, he's a puppy. Uh, and I'm naming him Trouble. <laughs> His name is Trouble. And he's gonna be, y'all, he's so adorable. He's so, he's so adorable. No, it's cunt. People in the South call it Cane Corso, but it's really pronounced Cane Corso. What'd you say? Ch chill, but intimate. Yes, they look so scary, but they're extremely sweet, lovable dogs. But they do protect you. Um, and his name is Trouble. So that's not, y'all, I'm going to put him up on my page. In a, well, he's, he's going to have his own page. Um, you pronounced it wrong. No, I'm not. I, people in Georgia and in the South pronounce it wrong. They say Cane Corso. It's not pronounced Cane Corso. That's what I used to call it. It's Cane Corso. It's not Cane Corso. And I actually looked it up. When you get them where you get them from, the real people who breed them the right way, they're pronounced Cane Corso, not Cane Corso. That's us down south people doing it. But yeah, it's a boy. I don't ever get girl dogs because I don't, I just don't really do girl dogs. Even though I've heard girl dogs are way more protective, I just don't do girl dogs. I don't do girl dogs. Don't they get really big? Yes, I would show y'all. Okay, if I go in my camera, y'all can't see my pictures until like I put it up, right? <laughs> Cause I don't want y'all to see my camera. So if I go in my camera, y'all can't see the pictures until I put them up, right? How do you add pictures on here? Okay, hold on. Oh, my God. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Can y'all see the picture? I just I just pulled up my pictures. Could y'all see those? And somebody is in here who I have a big crush on. He's still in here, but I'm not going to say nothing. Y'all saw those pictures pop up? No, it's because, like, like somebody I talk, I like, I'm attracted to, his pictures are in my phone. Okay, good. I'll be wanting y'all to see who I be talking to, man, my husband, honey. I'm very private of girls, so get my man, girl. To get my man, girl. Okay, let's see. Where are the pictures at? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are they at? Where are they at? So I'm going to show you his mama and daddy. Hold on. This is mama and daddy right here. Hold on. Oh, my God. Okay, wait, 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 where'd it go, 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 where'd it go? Okay, so boom. That's his mama and that's his daddy. Daddy is the one with the white chest. That's his daddy with the white chest. And then his mama is the one that got her mouth open. That's his mama and that's his daddy. Oh, y'all can't see the picture? Girl, y'all can't see the picture? Yes, y'all do, because y'all saying, oh, y'all see the picture. Okay, and then, um, 
let me show you the other picture of his mom and daddy. Stop sharing. Choose a different. Okay, hold on. Let me show y'all the other picture of his mom and daddy. Hold on. I got a picture of him, but. And then that's his daddy again. That's his daddy. And that's his mama. And then I'm going to show y'all trouble. Let me show y'all trouble. Let me show y'all trouble. Hold on. This trouble, y'all. I'm so excited about my baby. I, I'm so excited. This my baby, y'all, right here. This trouble. Ah! Look at trouble! <laughs> Look at trouble! Look at Oh, my God. Look at Look at Okay, hold on, let me show his other little picture. Look at Tudor. Hold on. This is other people. <laughs> How can I move me? Man, y'all can't see it. Hold on. No, I'm really good at raising dogs. Like, I've had like five, and all my dogs were amazing. My favorite dog that I had, and somebody stole them. Because my dogs don't ever be mean. Somebody stole my baby. Um, Hold on. Let's see him get So, anyway. Um, somebody stole my baby. His name was Zaire. He was a Labrador. My favorite dog ever, 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 ever. My favorite dog ever. He knew how to open the door. I could go, this is when I was in like high school. Um, I went to school. I would say sit and stay. Child, I would come back. He probably got up and moved around. But when I got off the bus, he was still sitting on the porch. Like he was my favorite dog ever my labrador and um he was so sweet he did anything i said and then somebody stole him and i cried like i cried like for months to this day that's why my mama didn't want me to get any more dogs when i was living with her because somebody had stole my dog and she hated dogs but she fell in love with him and she was like i don't want no other dog but Zaire. And so she was just so hurt. She was devastated when he got stolen. And she just didn't want any other dog. Like, she, her loyalty was to Zaire. Um, and then um, I had Prince, who was a miniature Doberman. Um, yeah, my cat loved dogs. They just got to be puppies. He loved Kip. He, I, when Kip, when I gave Kip away, um, Cody was so sad. But anyway, um, I had Prince. And Prince was a miniature Doberman, and I taught him how to use a litter box. Like, that's how good I am with my dogs. Um, what'd she say? How did somebody steal him? Because I lived in the country in McDonough, Georgia, and you don't have to have gates out there, and your dog can just roam freely. And Zayed was so playful, like, so playful, beautiful black um, Labrador, beautiful. And um, I just feel like he went to somebody's house, found a girlfriend. And I feel she was in heat. And I think he went there and did a little hoochie coochie. And then, girl, the people just probably kept him because he was beautiful. And he was really, 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 really nice. Like, he was the nicest dog ever. Um, and he could, he would be gone and always come back. So I know my dog didn't run away unless somebody hit him. And I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Or poison him. Because, child, I think my that, my neighbor, I feel my neighbor poisoned my other dog and killed my dog. I know he did. But anyway, because uh, they was real. Them white folks was real mean in McDonough, Georgia back in the day. They was mean, child. Them white folks was mean in McDonough, Georgia. Back then, they good now, I guess. Um, But I had a uh, miniature pincher and... um. I taught him how to use a uh, litter box. And it was so great because I, I, child, I was so sadidi girl. And uh, yeah, back, see, I didn't know nothing about my, I didn't like the microchips back then because I just knew how to train dogs, you know? But now, yeah, you need microchips in your dog. Anyway, um, yeah, so I was so bougie girl. And I was like, oh, my dog is not going to pee in the grass. My dog is never going to touch the ground. So with my miniature pincher, I bought him a little tote bag. He never walked on the ground. He never went outside on the ground. I didn't let him play with other dogs. Like, he was just bougie, girl. He had outfits, 
everything, girl. Had him a bed, a stroller. Like, my baby was spoiled. Had him a little car seat. And um, so I put a litter box in the house, and I trained him to use the litter box. Oh, my God. <laughs> So yeah. And so he's the litter box. That's so cool. How long did it take for him to learn? Not long. Um, so basically what I did was okay, but you had to get the unscented litters because I had to learn. I had put the scented litter in there like you use for cats. And child, it started breaking his paws out because I guess whatever was in the litter was too strong for his uh, feet, his paws. So it started breaking his paws out. So I had to get the, un like the wood chip litter. You know, the kind that when you use that wood chip for cats, it don't work because child, it stinks and it overpowers, the, like their poop overpowers that. But when I had a dog, um, you know, you still had to clean it up because you had to clean it up every time they peed or poop because, you know, it's a dog and they ain't going, you know. Anyway, so what I did was when um, he peed in the house when he was a puppy, um, I learned this in a book. I would put, I would clean it up with a paper or whatever, if it was boo-boo or if it was pee, and then I would put it in the litter box. And you would then pick him up and take him there and you use whatever word, potty, bathroom, poop poop, whatever you want to say, I always said potty. And um, I would put it in there and then I would give him a treat and say potty, potty, and give him the treat. And that's how you teach him where to go. Same thing if you want to teach him to go outside in a certain spot, you would clean it up in the house, keep that same rag or whatever, take it outside wherever you want him to pee, and in that spot all the time say potty, poop poop, whatever. And always take him to that same spot Spot every time don't allow your dog to pee wherever they want because when you do that they're going to pee wherever they want to but if you take them to that same spot all the time that's going to be their spot so he knew to go to the litter box kind of like when you're teaching them to pee and poop on puppy pads yes and then give them a treat and say oh potty potty so now when they hear the word potty they're going to be like, oh, my God, a treat is coming when I hear the word potty. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm really good with training my dogs. I just, the older I've gotten, my temper has gotten a little <laughs> weak. <laughs> so, and my patience has gone thin because of nickels. And so it's kind of like harder. So I just have to learn to breathe. And remember, Zoe is a dog. Breathe. <laughs> because whoo, I get so um, stressful but no yeah it works yeah period. oh and I also learned this too reading a book so yeah okay I don't know how you got on this I also learned this too because I used to get so mad when I would leave and I would come home um how much did you pay for trouble <sighs> a lot um when I would leave, what you drinking? Water mixed with um, chlorophyll. So when I would leave, I would always get mad and I'd be like, why did you rip up the so-and-so, so-and-so when I left? Or, oh my God, why did you, um, you know, or when I take them out the cage, calm down, relax. So this is why dogs do that when you leave. So is it one year in dog years, seven years, right? If I'm not mistaken, one year, so, like, when a dog turns one, he's actually seven. I think that's how it goes. Anyway, so just imagine if one year is seven years in dog years. To you, we may be gone for, like, 15 minutes or, like, an hour. To them, we were gone for, like, a month, two months, three months. So I had to remember in my head, Zoe, you might have been gone for just three hours, but when you come home, to him, it felt like he was gone for seven months. You know what I'm saying? So that's why he's so excited when you come home, or that's why he ripped up shit when you left, because you were gone for months to him, not just a couple of hours. So when I started doing that, it helped me understand, like, to keep him calm. And I also learned when you're trying to teach, 
the way you teach your dog not to have separation anxiety is when you see them, and this is what us humans always do. We be like, oh my God, hey, oh my God, what? That creates separation anxiety. Do not do that with your dog when they're a puppy. So basically when you come home, I know it's gonna get on your nerves, but when you come home in the door, walk past him, put your stuff down, Go put your bag down, and then after you do all that, go to him and just say, oh, hey, puppy, but in a cute voice, like in a regular voice, not that high, oh, my God, I got it, I got it, just do your regular thing, then come to him and say, oh, what's up, big boy, or what's up, little girl, and that's fine, because what you've done now is created this this thing where he's like, oh, my God, my God, he's coming home. I can't wait to hear that little loud one. So you're, you're, so that's why that separation anxiety where your dog is ripping up your pillows on your couch or ripping down your curtains because you did it. It's not him. It's you. Girl, yeah, I be reading about dogs, girl, because it's not really mean. It's just we got to remember as much as we want to say dogs are humans, they're not humans. They're still a dog. So in their life, they depend on a leader of the pack. So when you do human stuff, you're create. it's like you're changing their way of life or whatever. And so it's like, you got to act like that leader. So when you, when you see dogs, you don't see the male dog come up and be like, oh, and licking them and shit. They just like, nigga, what's up? You know, like, what going on? Mama grab him by the neck and say, get your ass over here and get some milk. You know, they don't do what we do. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's not that you're doing that. It's just you're, it's just, you don't have to do it forever. Just while they're little, you don't want to create that. Cause then when you come home, now all your stuff is ripped up because you create separation anxiety and now you're upset that your dog is ripping up shit. So now you got to keep them in the cage while you're gone. But guess who don't got to keep their dog in the cage while they gone? Because what you have done now is you've trained your dog properly so where he doesn't have to be in a cage while you're gone because he knows how to act right when you're not at home. So yeah, that's why you just walk in do your thing, and then you go to, because when you come home now, you don't go to your children and say, oh my God, Tuna, I'm home, oh my God, baby, I miss you. You just, you go in your room, put the shit down and say, y'all, I'm home, I'm finna go, I'm finna go um, make dish, I'm finna go wash the, I'm finna wash the dish, I'm finna cook y'all some dinner, you know, it's just like that. But anyway, I don't know. But do, I'm sorry, y'all, do what works for you. You know, do what works for you. Whatever works for you, do it. I just know I be having really good dogs. And it's just, but then it also depends on what breed you got too. Yeah. So, yeah. Whatever works for you is what works for you. And so I graduated. Oh my God, congratulations. I ain't got a dog. <laughs> I'm sorry. What happened to your dog? My uncle got him, honey, because, child, I didn't know Dobermans were just, it's just in their blood to run. They need space. And I didn't have that space for him. The house is big, but he needs that outdoor space. I have a nice backyard, but with a Doberman, Dobermans get bored easily. And when they get bored, they dig. And if I had a huge yard, I wouldn't care that he dig holes, but I have like a family backyard and I don't need those holes in my backyard. So I just should have read up. That was my mistake for not reading up on Doberman's properly. So he's with um my, he's with other people. Your hair's growing fast. Yeah, I'm so excited, friend. I am so, so, so excited. So excited. Yeah, they like Doberman. Like I would go take Kip walking for like thirty minutes to an hour. He would be exhausted. But when we come home and he drinks the water and sits down for two minutes, it's like we didn't go walking. I'm like, dude, we just went walking. <laughs> take a nap. And then like that's why Dobermans were guard dogs 
And I get it. Dobermans were guard dogs. You know how they say have them in those little car lots? Yeah, I'm talking so much. I'm going to go. Um, they are guard dogs because at nighttime, all you heard was this. Just up. And I'm like, dude, go to bed. <laughs> like, you walk around this house 20 times. The table is still in the same spot. The refrigerator didn't move. The couch is still right here. Nothing changed, baby. Nothing changed. Go to sleep. He just did not want to go to sleep. He just, he needed to walk around. Like, needed to walk around. And I was just like, you know what? Relax. So, you know, it just, he just didn't match my personality. Beautiful dog. I did a great job raising him, but he just did not met. I tried, y'all. I did it two years. I should have got a treadmill. I was going to do that, but I was just like, even when you do that, he has done the treadmill all day. <laughs> um, he just wasn't my personality. I'm a very laid back, quiet, relaxed person. And there are dogs out there like that. A Doberman is for people who got a big yard, got children, and just, they're outside people. And I'm not an outside person. Um, yeah. That's why I really, 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 really love my cat. I love my cat. I loved Kip. I cried, but, you know, he's better now. Um, because he can, he has space. <sighs> Yeah, cats are amazing. If you're like a chill person, get a cat. Like, I hate it. Okay, I'm cutting it short, cutting it short, cutting it short, cutting it short. I hate it, 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 cats. I thought cats looked sneaky. I thought cats were mischievous. I thought they were evil. I just, I hated cats. I did. I was afraid to go sleep around them because I heard that when you went to sleep, cats will sit over you and suck your soul out. And I hated cats. So then get a little dog. No, little dogs are not for me and they're feisty and I will hurt one of them bitches. Um, yeah, so when I finally got my cat, I was scared at first. Like I was scared to go to sleep. I would have to put him in a cage because I was scared. But then finally I just said, Zoe, let him out. Just close your eyes and go to sleep. And um, all of a sudden he just started laying on me like just sleeping with me oh i love the way they cuddle they're cuddled up in your um stomach they're sleep by your neck like they're the sweetest most peaceful animals ever and so then i just start raising them like a dog like i'm like come here and i whistle and it's like i trained him to act like a dog like he comes when when i call him most cats don't do that but i treated him like a like some people will get a cat and let cats do whatever they want to do. That's the cats that I feel are just annoying. But no, cats are very, very, very trainable. Um, like my cat knows. Now when I'm not here, he'll jump on the counter because he's smart like that. But when I'm here, he don't jump on no counter. He don't get on my tables. If he jumps on the, like, if he jumps, he knows to jump on the couch when I'm here by myself. But when people are here, he knows not to jump on my couch because I don't want him sitting all on my guests. But if he does do it because he wants to sit beside me, I'm like, ah, down. And he gets down. And it's so crazy. And the way I trained him like that was with a water bottle because cats don't like when you spray water in their face. And so I, uh, anytime he jumped on my counter, I was spraying with the water. Or if he jumped on my couch, I was spraying with the water, whatever the case may be. But cats are just, they're freaking amazing. And anytime you hear somebody ring the doorbell or a car pulls up to my house, he runs down like he just knows he can attack them. I'm like, you're such a good boy. And it's just, I love him. They're, it's like he knows when I'm sad. Like if I'm like, upset about something he will come and cuddle with me um he knows when i want my space like i ain't gotta say cody give me my space like he'll know that i'm angry and then he'll just sit outside my door and just look and i'm like boy come on in like he knows when i'm mad sad want to cuddle um and then like he don't be all up under you and the cat i have is a um a russian blue you guys 
Russian blues are the best cats ever. Please. If you get it, I don't know, Siamese cats, I heard they're very um, snooty. They got little nasty little attitudes. Um, yeah. So I wouldn't say get a Siamese if you're, you know, you know, if you want to be lovey-dovey with your cat. But Russian blues are very lovable. They listen. They like, they even like to play fetch. Like Russian blues love playing fetch. Um, this is really good. Like just look up, look your animal up and figure out what animal fits you. And that's what I did. They're just, they're like, they're so amazing. They're a really good dog. I mean, damn, a really good cat. Um, and if you're allergic to cats, let me tell you, this is what I did with my cousin. Um, on my foot. There is this stuff at Kroger, and it's Febreze. And what it does is it, it removes the dander out of the air. Because really, it's just the dander that's on the cat. That's what you're allergic to. And you just have to vacuum a lot or comb your cat a lot and spray the dander and my cousin, when she come here, she's really, really, really good. Um, she's good. Uh, and sometimes she'll just take a Benadryl and she'll be okay. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say if you're allergic to them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really wanted to get one of the cats that didn't have hair. I don't know. He's somewhere. In, he's child. Cody's somewhere. That's why I like him. He's somewhere. Um, he's somewhere. But right now, I really get, I'm aggravated with him right now because it's hot. So he's shedding all of that winter coat fur. So it's like it's hair everywhere. Annoying. But, uh, yeah, there was a cat that doesn't have fur. And I was going to get that one. But I was afraid people were going to get scared of them. So I didn't get it. They're so adorable. They're so, so, so adorable. They have no fur. And they're so cute. Okay, a sphinx. Yes, I love those cats. I think they're so pretty. Yeah, it's hair everywhere because he's shedding because it's getting hot outside. And so he's shedding off that thick. Because y'all be thinking Cody's fat. Cody's really not fat. It's a lot of fur. It's just a lot of fur. And it's so soft. And it's so thick. And so right now, a lot of it's shedding. I mean, he is a plumpy cat because the um a russian blue is that cat that was in um it's the cat that was in alice in wonderland the one that sat on the tree that's what a russian blue is they're really big cats I, his face just isn't the fat face that's why i'll be wondering if he's a hundred percent russian blue but um their faces are supposed to get real fat and cute and chunky and then russian blues have all, like, if you look at Cody's eyes, his eyes are green. That's how you can tell if it's a Russian blue. Their fur has to be real nice and wooly. And then they get chunky. And then their eyes are green. That's a Russian blue. The other ones that are gray, they have yellow and green eyes. Cody's eyes are all green. Like, if I go get him right now, they're all green. But the other ones are gray with yellow and green eyes. He don't have the yellow and green. He has all green eyes. His eyes are adorable. <sighs> okay, y'all, I'm about to go. <laughs> I feel like we're talking on FaceTime and I can't see anybody. All right, you guys. Um, I love you so much. Have a great day. Are you going to be watching Lamar Odom and Aaron Carter fight? Oh, my God, they're fighting this weekend. I love you guys so much. Be awesome. Sorry um, we really didn't turn up on this P.O. Box opening, um, but we had a great conversation. And too bad I don't trust them. I'm telling you, cats are sweet. They're really, really, really sweet. When you get your own, it's totally different from a cat on the street. But now I look. Oh, sorry, y'all. And then if you get a cat, um... Make sure you get a lot of stuff for them to scratch on or they will scratch your house up. But what I did, because I didn't know, and I was a first time cat owner and I did not know. So people got mad at me, but I didn't know. But my, this is when I was doing you now back in the day. I got his front claws removed, but not his back. Um, his front claws are removed, so he could, because I, I just knew, I was like, I heard cats like to scratch, because that's how they, it's not that they're trying to mess up your stuff, but that is how, um, cats keep their claws, um, 
That's how cats keep their claws sharpened. And that is also how they stretch. I had to read about it. That is how they stretch and do the blood flow or something in their vein. It's something they do when they stretch. And that is how they do that. So that is why they scratch. And so um, when I removed his claws, oh, my God. I, when, I, when I read what they told me it was like, they said removing a cat's claws. You look gay. Um, no, I just look a little sweet. Um, it's like, you see that line right here? It's like cutting that off on every one of your fingers. It's like cutting that off. And when I heard that, I cried. I was on you now. My you know people to tell you, I cried. I was crying. I went up there the next day. I was like, Connie, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. Like y'all, I bawled my eyes out. Like I was, <laughs> the lady was like, it's okay. It's okay. He's fine. Duke. That's why they don't do the declawing anymore, really, in the state of Georgia, because it's like torture. But they have a new procedure. Um, and some people claw take their claws out for the safety of their kids. But um, 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 what they did with my cat, and this is the way, if you do decide to do it, which I don't recommend, but some people, you do have very expensive furniture, and I understand. And um, But that's why I did it. So none of my stuff is scratched up, and then you can't scratch people. But that is... But once you do that, they need to stay an inside cat. They don't. They cannot go outside because they have no way to um, defend themselves. And that's why they say if you declaw a cat, sometimes they make become more aggressive because it feels like you've taken away the defense mechanism. So that's why they bite you now. They'll they'll go to biting because they don't have their claws to scratch you. But anyway, um, they lasered here. So therefore, it was way more less painful because his was lasered off and um, it healed way faster. And he was like up and running in like two weeks. Like two weeks, he was up, he was running and doing the same thing. And it didn't change his, um, it didn't change his personality. His personality was still the same. Some people, cats, turn very vicious and mean when you declaw them. So I'm not recommending declaw them, but it's your, this is what I tell people. It is your pet. Despite what anybody else thinks, it is your pet. Um, like some people cut dogs' ears or some people cut the dog's tails or some people put their, you know, whatever they do. Some people like feel like you're supposed to feed a dog raw food. Some people think, no, feed them kibble. So it's your pet and do what you do and what's best for you and your home. Um, but just read about it and know what you're getting yourself into before you do do it so um yeah um so i don't really care if anybody gets mad at me yes i did cut my uh cat's claws and i cried like a baby but um he's freaking amazing he never goes outside because i don't want him to go outside because outside is so dangerous for him. just don't want him to and um i just love my cat i love my cody and my cody loves me <sighs> And he still does his scratching. He still does his, um, he, do, he does everything. He does everything. And I love him. Get him. I don't know. He's probably outside in the garage. Because he has a flappy door. He's probably outside. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Because <laughs> every time, hold on. I tell y'all, every time I drive my car, Jesus Christ. Every time I drive my car, every time I drive my car and I come home, he likes to sit on my car because it's hot. I don't know why cats love, um, see how he licks me? I don't know why cats love um, hot stuff, but he loves to sit on my car every time I come home. Watch this. Give me a kiss. Can I get a kiss? 
Mm. This is my doo doo doo. Mm. Mm. Mm, so funny. He's so funny. I must be. Am I salty? I'm a little salty. He usually kisses me. Um. He's like, yeah, he loves me. Like, why? <laughs> why are you being so like? Okay, chill. But yeah. This is my baby. And I used to always hold him like this when he was a kitty. So that's why he lets me hold him like this. A lot of cats don't do this, but he does. And he goes nowhere. Um, oh, he wants to make out you. No, he does not. Don't, don't be weird. <laughs> don't be weird. Does he bite? Um, yeah, when you rub him too hard, he does not like you to... Um, he doesn't like you to rub him hard or rub his stomach. So, like, if you rub his stomach, he won't bite you, but he'll nick at you. Um, like, he'll go, he'll nip, I mean. He'll, like, nip at you real quick. But, um, yeah. He doesn't really bite you. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, Junkie Monkey? Ain't that right, Junkie Monkey? Hmm. Okay, y'all. He's, like, maybe... He's like six or seven years old. He's like six or seven years old. Oh, he looks, yeah, he lo he stays looking at me. But yeah, he's like six or seven, and then he just sits here. You're my baby. You're my baby. Mm. Okay. Mm. And y'all know, I also, I also read, um, when a, Me with a sledgehammer, but that's not gonna work. Also, I also read, um, when a cat.